Alright, a little blondie. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Super long hippie hair. <laughs> Actually looks insane. And I love how smooth it is. My god, I really wonder how short she's gonna go. Maybe she's got she's got us in for a shock. Okay, measuring it out. <laughs> It must feel so soft to the touch. It literally looks silky. Like, incredible. <laughs> and she's so pretty too. I love the shape of her face. Okay. Client consent is good. Always asked. I used to be traumatized by my hairdressers when I was a kid because they would not like ask you for cutting. They just like ask you a rough idea of what you want. Mm, and I feel like that's really not enough. And here we go with the cut. Oh my god. What an interesting direction. <laughs> Damn, I've never seen this type of technique. It looks like a it almost looks like a home salon with that plastic. We usually get like non sheer stuff to put on, you know. I guess uh, she has a lot of layers, so she probably wants to cut it like down here so it takes a lot less space. Ah, uh, look at that smile. <laughs> Such a little vintage vibe. I'm loving it. More layers, ooh, interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, today's a really sunny day outside. It's quite beautiful and gorgeous. Look at that pattern. So clean <laughs> it's so satisfying I bet videos like this end up on satisfying compilations all the time I don't know if you guys have ever like, watched one but usually the more popular ones are a bit more strange like slime ones I like the thinly sliced like cucumbers and tomatoes with really sharp knives I think that's the most satisfying concentration oh won't you look at that <laughs> so smooth incredible truly <laughs> my Honestly, sometimes I feel like these types of shapes could be a little bit considered like Karen cuts. Oh, look at the happiness! She's loving that length. Like I was saying, they could be considered like Karen cuts. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those, but they're basically like those women that go around and they're kind of rude and they're like want to talk to the manager that's a super like, common sentence but I feel like it really really depends on the type of vibe that you're trying to send here and uh, she seems to have a lot of positivity and happiness in her life she has some real warm looking smiles so I'm more inclined to believe that she is a peaceful little person <laughs> Maybe my own bias, but hey. Honestly, I like that, this shape on her. I'm very excited to see the other layers. It looks so much darker now. Did she dye it? Hairdresser looks a bit Italian. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a new layer coming. That's quite pleasant. See the way it just like flushes down delicately, gently. Look at how gently it goes down. It's just so beautiful. Super satisfying. My. It's like cascading down like a veil, like it has that same softness and poise. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. interesting oh, with these types of cuts i'm always so curious about the dry end result because i feel like the way we see it right now is more of a trust the process kind of thing and i don't know i think it can be quite mind-blowing actually oh looking at the curve It's really, really pretty. Yeah, I think those, like, the contrast between the darker part and the more light and blondish part of her hair is so interesting and so beautiful. It reminds me of the duality in color of ocean waves and how they merge together. I think it's kind of the same here. Such a classy little video, you know. Once you look at that, that undercut though. Styling time, styling time. <laughs> I know I don't have to do the little catchphrase every time, but it just it's made a really cheerful mood. about the color it's so fluffy those layers are just too beautiful it's insane <laughs> and she looks incredibly satisfied I would be too girly that turtleneck was the correct choice oh what are we are we are we styling it again <laughs> oh hell yeah bring it on gel it up so that's gonna be probably a more masculine look if i dare so say, say so myself <laughs> that editing <laughs> 